So welcome on board a very special boat at the Miami International Boat Show. This is the Fountain 32NX. If you've heard of Fountain, you would have heard of Reggie Fountain and his family powerboat racing, setting world records and dominating the offshore powerboat scene. However, for 2022, Fountain have taken that award-winning, race-winning pedigree hull and put a new deck suitable for family offshore cruising. So let's check out what this next generation craft really actually stands for. So this craft presented at the show has two 300 horsepower Mercury Verados. That pushes this craft to 60 miles an hour. However, if you have that need for speed, you can run it with triple 450Rs and that will give you a craft capable of over 90 miles an hour. Pretty impressive for a craft with a T-top and the space that we're gonna show on board. So, aft we have a fantastic walkthrough with your um, walkthrough panel on your port side. You have clean transom, really easy to work on your engines. You have loads of fish rod holders, cup holders, and a uh, water station on the back with a little sink and a cutting board for your fishing. You have a good bench seat aft. However, this is modular, so you can design it so you can have this all removed for bigger fishing space, or you can have a flip up seat as well if you would choose that option. But this option, it has the aft bench. We have fantastic storage on the uh, deck with big deck lockers opening up for uh, all of your storage needs or maybe for ice and stuff where you want to put um, fish or you can have a, an option for a live bait well as well. The upholstery is of a good standard. You have the fountain logo stitched into the upholstery. Now everything on this boat is completely customizable. So you don't have just a standard selection of colors. Everything is tailored to your needs. Above me is a sunshade, which is an option aft and forward, and that can help protect you from that Florida climate, or obviously in the UK or in Europe. Um, on the odd day, maybe in August, you can put these up, but it's a nice option to have. The side gunnels, upholstery as well. If you're gonna be fishing and leaning over, you're gonna have some protection on your legs, but also for family and stuff, kids running through and aft, it's gonna be a really nice boat to look after. You've got nice high bulwarks, uh, so again, you feel pretty safe and protected in this boat, especially in a craft that's capable of 90 miles an hour. Let's move forward and I'll show you a little bit more. So this particular boat is a spec here, uh, set up really for the fishing market. So you have uh, your station here for all your fishing with a nice cooler, but you can spec this up accordingly with maybe a grill or an aft bench seat as standard as well. So you can be facing the rear as you go. Fish rod holders, big offshore craft, typical of the nature of this boat. Fantastic T-top. And I'll show you a little bit more features about that in a second. But all the metal work is of a really nice standard, good gauge, good quality welding. It's a really substantial boat that's gonna look after you and not have any real vibration and clutter. So moving into the helm station, you have fantastic protection here. You have a big windscreen with wraparound glass. You have a vent in the front, which is electronically operated. So on those hotter days, you can open that vent and get some nice airflow through, but you feel very protected at the helm here with these superb big bolster seats as well. Some big screens with electronic switching so you can control the whole of the boat um, from uh, your helm. You have a bow thruster and the mercury throttles, everything is where it needs to be. It really shows that racing pedigree in this craft. So this boat has two Garmin multifunction displays and they've teamed up with C-Zone to be able to create their own fountain switch panel here. So you can control everything that you want to on board. Say for example on the lights here, you can turn things on and off. It will display what's gonna be on and off. So now we've got the T-top lights on and then we can shut everything off. You also have your engine gauges, 
your home for your boat so you can look at your batteries, you can control your bilges, everything that you need. Really nice, clear, easy to use, so when you're at speed in this craft, you've got everything where you need it to be. So this Fountain 32NX has a nine foot 11 beam. A pretty beamy boat for this length of craft, but still with that stepped hull, it's gonna perform well. The advantage though of that beam is that for a sociable boat, you have loads of space, and that is evident in the bow area here. You have a really cool sun lounger um, seat on the console that's really sculpted with some armrests and cup holders and good grab handles to hand, which here is so important, especially on a boat at this speed. Inside this locker, you have fantastic space. You actually have a huge cooler space on this particular boat, ready to be filled for that party over to some sandbars. You have a great social space forward with a table that can lower to become another sun pad. It also has these backrests as well, so that while you're on the plane, people can come up and sit here when the weather allows. Don't go through haul over inlet though, all sat at the front. Now, because this boat has this beam and it has such a deep keel at this section of the hull, it has quite a party piece in the console. Let me show you. Now for a boat of this size, it has a massive heads compartment. With this beam and the depth here within the keel, it allows you for a huge amount of space, which you could obviously use for storage, but as a heads compartment, this is gonna be a perfect boat for all the family. Okay. I'm five foot 10, and uh, this has a huge amount of space. So somebody well over six foot could be in here. You could put up probably some uh, sections here to be able to hang your wet weather gear or things like that. You have a, a panel here which will reveal all the electronics for behind the console and then you have a fantastic um, switch panel here as well. You can control everything that you need to in terms of all your fuses. You've also got your engine start, uh, ignition stuff here as well so that you can then run your switches on the console. You also have a pull out shower head Perfect for showering off at the end of a long day. It's a wet room, so all the water will then come up through the villages. If you're after the ultimate 32 foot fishing, touring, family craft with stacks of pedigree, then this boat is at the show for around about $450,000, but it starts at around about 320, depending on the spec that you have. But as she's seen here, she's about 450,000.